Uh, now I am going to show how to make this propeller in SOLIDWORKS. And so let's begin. Click here, select part. Go to sketch and click on this sketch. And from here select front pen. Okay, from here select ellipse. Now from the center, draw an ellipse. Okay, exit. And now select front plane again. And now go to features, uh, reference geometry, and uh, select plane. Now Okay, keep the distance. Increase the distance. Okay. Now click on spacebar. Select normal to and at the center of this plane from this sketch, select point and draw point. Okay. exit now select a plane and from here select spline and from this point one spline select select the spline again and from this point Uh, another spline select okay this match this one Okay, just match this one. Okay. <coughs> now just hide this plane one. Hide plane one. Now exit. Now go from features, select lofted boss or base. Now for profiles, select this ellipse and this point and select guided curves now click on right button select selection manager <coughs> select this line okay again right button click selection manager and select this line okay okay now select top line again Sketch, click on spacebar, normal to now select circle and from this point draw circle and from the center of this circle, circle draw another circle. Okay, now go to features, click on extrude boss or base. And select mid plane and increase the height okay okay now select 
be left and select this corner okay select preview okay okay now select flex and in if your uh, a solid rust is if there is no flex uh, here now just keep your mouse cursor in this point and right click right button then click on customize now go to commands and from here select features and just select flex and just drag it here okay now select flex click here now it bring it downward okay now from this point the whole thing will be bent now select twisting and increase the degree make this one 25 okay okay so this is one portion of the propeller uh, click reference geometry select axis click here okay now select top plane click on spacebar click on normal to and from this axis okay center line and from the center draw center line okay now again go to features okay exit reference geometry select plane so select this axis now select this select this plane okay exit Reference geometry, select plane, select this axis, and now select this plane. Okay, exit. Uh, reference geometry plane, this axis, now this plane. Okay, no problem. Reference geometry plane. At first, select this axis. And now, select this plane. Okay. So, some problem. Okay, no problem. Tall. Okay. Reference geometry plane. First, this axis and this center line. Input incomplete. Okay. There is axis. Okay, click uh, top plane sketch. Click on space bar. Okay. Select center line. From this one. In the line, okay. Features reference geometry, okay. Exit uh, plane at first. This one, and this one, Okay, so delete this one again. Yes, 
uh, delete this axis yes okay define geometry select axis now select this one okay now select top plane and sketch select center line okay space bar normal to just okay along this one axis now exit go to features reference geometry plane select this one and now this one okay now it is okay so there may be some problem at some time now go to click on mirror select this plane now features to mirror select this one and this one okay So this is our propeller. Now let's modify this one. Just uh, hide this plane. Now height axis to height sketch seven. Now change the view. Now go to material, edit material go to plastic i am selecting plastic you can select something else pvc rigid apply close okay then uh it appearance just select this one okay Rooftop. Okay, so this is our propeller. These are our If friends, if you think that this video is useful, please subscribe my channel, like, comment, and share my videos. And if you have any question, you can ask in the comment box. Thank you.